And you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to start a spark. This is it. This is your first presentation of the night. I like to get it going by explaining what exactly Ignite is and how it works, and also why it's important to humankind. And because you're all here tonight, and you're smart people. You need a refuge from the world, which is constantly, constantly assaulting you with information you don't need. Right? The only plus side to this little shit is if you are a parent like me, you're like, well, maybe I'm not doing too poorly. But each person who comes up here creates a five-minute escape pod from the reality that might be Justin Bieber. With 20 slides, 15 seconds a slide, and they automatically advance. So you've got to be on your game. And the rules are simple. Be yourself. Just get up here, be yourself. That usually takes practice. You know, we don't need you to douche it up for the crowd. Just go ahead and enjoy yourself. Now, if the yourself you happen to be isn't something that somebody likes, well, you're gone in five minutes and we'll have somebody else you might like. Okay, that's an advantage. Screw perfection. Yeah. Screw it. That guy's like, you mean have sex with the hot lady? No. But just roll with the mistakes. There may be cussing, as I probably have already demonstrated. So if you're easily offended, stay. It's <laughs> you, you need flexibility. The only time we really welcome heckling is if somebody shills. Somebody gets up here, you'll feel it if they start selling a little too much. Now granted, they might tell you what they do or what they've done or a book that they've written, but that's building credibility. But some, some people ask for heckling. You'll know Rick Ramos when you see him. But be kind. Because people up here, they're vulnerable, all right? Like me. And this is where I move into my scintillating example of what an Ignite Spark can be. I'm going to share a story via these slides. Some people, to find themselves, they go to Africa for two years. I just had to go to Canada for about 58 seconds. That's what it took for me to go down the one mile track in Whistler doing bobsled. Now, I, this is the New Zealand bobsled team here. And this is me yeah. in the bob. I apologize for the uh, photo quality, but that's what a scream looks like. It's the blur. But I'm the kind of guy, I say yes to things before I fully research what I'm saying yes. And this is Tim, he's the manager of the New Zealand bobsled team. And he's like, he's like the really nice guy outside the creepy van who gets you in with candy. And I was like, yeah, that would be great. And then you get molested by the reality. Now, it's not like you want to fall out of the sled, but here's the truth. This is true, if you fall out of the sled, your underwear could melt to your body. That's crazy, which makes this rule completely counterintuitive. If my spandex is going to singe my scrotum, I want to be drinking. I want to be drunk. You can take that word home with you, scrotum. So here it is at the top, and it's, this is where you're like, oh, well, this isn't so bad. And, uh, and you kind of do this little rickety start, a little bit driving this daisy. I had that masculine impulse where I'd like, this would be better if I were driving. And then... This is a talent I did not know, but I can be a full-body sphincter. <laughs> this is 80 miles an hour, and I am just clenched with fear. And this is where I discovered myself. This is where I found myself, where I realized I don't need to be taking these risks. You know, my risks are more like E-Trade. Or, or going to Target with the baby without a diaper bag. And then, if you look at this picture here, a guinea Canadian shared this with me. That is my ass crack to the world. <laughs> that is how I would be remembered by those who sent me off down the hill. Oh, so I realize that I don't need to take those risks. I can enjoy this, like getting on stage. So, remember tonight, everybody's getting up here. They're a little vulnerable and taking a risk of their own. It will pay off hugely. Trust me, participants and those who are looking forward to doing an Ignite.
But now we're getting this thing started. Everybody got a beverage and a tummy full of food? Woo! Okay? There will be an intermission so that you can go ahead and do more sating of yourself. That's not a euphemism for anything. I think that means satisfying. I mean, but, oh boy, rabbit hole. But anyway, food and beverage. Our first speaker tonight, he's got, you gotta be super loving on this guy. He's the first guy tonight opening up at Ignite Denver 16. 